Well, good morning, guys. We're doing something a little bit different this morning, once again. And uh, back quite a few videos ago, way back a long time ago, I tried some new beard product. And uh, it got to the point where I was at the end of my supply. And so I reached out to somebody that's local, fairly local, in a town called Sussex, New Brunswick. And Matt White is the owner of the company Sussex Beard Oil. And I reached out to him telling him that, you know what, it was time for me to place an order for some more product because I had run out and I wanted to try his product to see if it was something that I liked or not. And in exchange that we could do a little bit of a uh, collaboration on social media between my YouTube channel and his company. So I reached out to him, told him what I was doing. I placed my order and what I had ordered from him was the Sussex Beard Oil, which is the, uh, the ginger uh, balm. And I had ordered that and I had ordered a t-shirt. When I got my order in the mail, I had got not just the beard balm and the t-shirt, I got three or four different samples of oils. I got stickers, I got a towel, which is like a hot towel you can use for your face. Um, like just all sorts of little things, beard soap for washing your beard when you're in the shower. And so he really wanted me to try and sample some of these products. And so over the last couple of weeks, I've been doing just that. And I'm not sure if you can tell by the inside of the cover here, but I have been using the ginger balm for a couple of weeks now. and. I must say that the very first thing you notice when you pull the cover off is that real um, musky, I don't want to say musky, but it's got a real nice ginger smoky type scent. Very manly and uh, one thing that you don't want to be doing when you're putting beard products uh, on, your, on your beard is you don't want to be smelling like flowers and uh, lavender and all that sort of stuff so they make their products to smell very manly for one thing which is what i like about it um, but it's a it's a different sort of a paste um, as as opposed to the cream type of product that i've been used to from uh, some other suppliers so one of my other suppliers supplied me with this little wooden spoon uh, to dig the stuff out now with this product you don't need it because it is soft enough but i still like using the spoon because it helps me gauge how much I'm using so so you can find their products on their website at sussexbeard.ca and I'll put that as the first link in the description box below so we're gonna try this product on camera and uh, we're gonna I'm gonna show you basically how I do it I'm sure that most of you guys don't really care because you're not uh, you're not bearded maybe so I use the spoon to gauge how much I use and and basically all it takes is a little dab um, I rub that in to my hands really well and in between my fingers because that's how we're going to get it to run through uh, the beard. So you can see my beard is right now it's it's clean. Uh, it's just sticking out everywhere uh, because uh, I don't have any product in it right now. So it's just been washed with the beard, uh, the beard soap and dried. So now we're going to take some of this stuff and uh, we're going to we're going to rub it in. So the biggest thing that I find with this stuff already is just simply the smell. It's, uh, like I said, very manly smell. And uh, one straggler right there. Uh, so you don't have to worry about not, you know, about not smelling good when you're when you're putting this stuff in. Some of the stuff has a very oily smell anyway. Uh, this this has got a real kind of a smoky, gingery type smell. So now that we have that in there, we're just going to give it a brush. So first thing I usually do is I take my coarse brush and I just kind of, you know, straighten everything out, get any snags that may still be in there. And I'm not afraid to go in both directions either. Help pull some of those uh, straggling hairs out. And then I grab my boar's hair brush and... Uh, Apparently it's real boar's hair, 100%. And this is going to help align all the whiskers to a nice straight uniform look. 
So there you have my review on the Sussex Beard Oil Ginger Beard Balm. Uh, I really love this product and it, it definitely has its place in, in my inventory of beard products and I will continue to use their product. Um, Matt White from Sussex Beard Oil Company has been so gracious to give me a few samples to try. I'm going to continue to use those and as I run out I definitely will be replacing uh, those products with another order of Sussex product. Um, it, <clears throat> it means a lot to me to be supporting a local New Brunswick company who is trying to make it big. And one of the areas that Matt had been successful on is on a TV show on, CB, on CBC called Dragon's Den, which is very similar to the US side Shark Tank. And he pitched his product uh, and did such a good job at it that he got investors. So it's a great product. Uh, I'm supporting a local New Brunswick company and a small, uh, a small, another small business and uh, very proud to do so. So Matt, thank you so much for offering up a few samples for me to try, as well as a product that I paid for. This particular video is not in any way, shape or form sponsored by Sussex Beard Oil, but um, although he did give me a few products to try, I did pay for some of the products as well. So as we move forward, uh, I'll be giving you a few updates on some of the other products. Again, some of you guys probably don't care about that, but if you're bearded like me, it means a lot to find a good product that you can trust, that you know that's going to be consistent every time you buy it, and that isn't terribly expensive and going to break the bank. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and we will see you in the next upload. Thank you so much for watching this excerpt. Now on to our regularly scheduled program. I knew that wouldn't take long. Oh, come on, start it up so we can get some sounds here. Yeah. Get some sound clips. Yeah, we're trying to get some vlogging down. Come on, Dad. Holy. Yeah, Dad. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Seriously? That was $30 worth of gas right there. <laughs> so this is my sister-in-law's new toy. It's an 07. Convertible GT. It's got the 46 and 400 and what? 80. It's only got 480 horsepower. That all? No, that's, that's all. all. <laughs> the best part of the whole thing, right there. But it's missing a gear. Yeah, it should be six. Should be six. Should be a six. I wish it. That big, that much of horsepower, should be a six speed. Some Fuchs wheels on it. Or do you want the man to do it? Or? We took motor mechanics in school. Yeah, I can't even open the trunk. Or a hood. You find it? Watch your fingers. Come right, down. right there. Okay, you got her. Nice. In the Painted valve covers. It's got shorty headers on it. Is this gonna be your car? Yeah. Yeah? How about you? Gonna be my car. Your car? Well, he's already got the Jeep. They don't want that now. He's got the Jeep, I got the Mustang. I guess nobody wants the forerunner. Well, if you're giving it away, uh, put me on the list. <laughs> Give her a blot, Tom. <laughs> and here's my nephew Taylor, future vlogger in the making. Oh, yeah. Look at the camera he's got. Look at the camera. You said you wanted to be in the vlog, so now you're in the vlog. Totally. <laughs> 
Yeah. What's your handle? What's my handle? What's your handle? Instagram. Oh, uh, Taylor underscore LeBlanc tw or two, 209. There you go. We'll put it on there so you guys can follow them. Sweet. And all those shenanigans. Sweet. You're not, you don't do shenanigans. Teach them how to start a Mustang without stalling at first. Oh! oh. <laughs> and this is my sister-in-law. This is her car, the big Mustang. Hey, oh, you like your Mustang? Love it. Love it. Good. <laughs> oh, you got a birthday coming up next in a couple couple weeks. Be your brother. <laughs> so my sister and brother-in-law are heading on vacation next week. So probably by the time this video airs, we are going to be able to take this car for a test drive. Junior is going to clean it up, give it a good detail, and we're going to see what 480 horsepower feels like. You never know. Shenanigans, maybe? I might have to, I might have to pay for a couple new tires is all. Well. And they're not cheap. Guys, I hope you appreciated this video. Thanks for tuning in. We'll have that video on a Mustang up in no time. Guys, also I want you to remember that I am trying to get someone to come up with a neat graphic intro and or musical intro to these videos. And I'm putting that call out to you guys, my subscribers. If you can come up with something and send it to me and I like it, I will feature it on the channel. We'll give you the credit and we'll make sure that it becomes part of my regular vlog. And as always, my contact information is in the description box below. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and bell notification to subscribe to my channel so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, remember to always be focused on the windshield and not the rearview mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you in the next upload.